Assalamu alaikum dear doctor in this video i am discussing approach to a child with back with wide vein syndrome so for back with wide vein syndrome the child is tall and large for age child although their final height is often less than 95th centile there is macroglossia and this macroglossia can lead to speech problem feeding difficulty and obstructive sleep apnea in air sign we find transverse air crease facial nevus hemihypertrophy and in abdomen we look for scar around the umbilicus suggest past history of omphalocele examine for visceral megaly risk of wimps tumor adrenocortical tumor hepatoblastoma and neuroblastoma for this all tumor follow up 3 to 4 monthly for abdominal palpation plus minus abdominal ultrasonography anything else number 1 any neonatal history of hypoglycemia that causes learning difficulty number 2 prematurity number 3 large gestational age number 4 growth chart Now some conditions associated with Wimps tumor are back with wide vein syndrome hemihypertrophy and Weger syndrome Weger syndrome features are Wimps and Aida genitourinary abnormality and mental retardation then number 4 Drash syndrome Drash syndrome features are genitourinary abnormality renal disease and Wimps tumor so this is approach to a child with back with wide vein syndrome please do subscribe and share mrcpch with dr amma choudhury thank you